We've been told this lie for a long time that men should be leading women because they are the less emotional creatures, which makes them more logical. And unfortunately, what we learn from how the brain is formed is the logic part of our brain is the last to form. The part that can critically think and plan for the future, that actually is informed by the other parts of the brain maturation process, namely our emotions and our felt senses. So truly real intelligence, real consciousness, real awareness is being in touch with the emotions and the felt senses because that is what informs your mind, your ego of who it is, what is experiencing and how it's feeling. Now, what has happened when somebody has had an emotionally volatile childhood where they did not feel physically safe growing up? That actually delays the maturation of their neocortex, which means they're not going to be able to think clearly. They're going to be on some level on a survival response. So what ends up happening is these individuals become volatile. And that can show up in a number of ways. For men, it, it tends to show up in power over dynamics, where for women, it shows up a lot of ways in manipulation tactics or giving up power to try to secure something. So true intelligence, a true sign of maturity, is being able to feel all of your emotions, consciously direct your energy, be in touch with your surroundings, and make choices that feel good and safe for you. If you're not there, there's some underlying trauma inside of you, and I'm happy to work with you. Love you.